So this is my mum's Nissan ENV200, which I'm going to be upgrading today with the 40 kilowatt hour battery. It's got a 24 kilowatt hour battery inside it. It is an ex-British gas van, hence the blue. Um, she's called Dory because my mum used to have a Citroen Nemo. And so this is Dory. So the first step that I've already done is degas the air conditioning because the AC goes into the battery. The second step is disconnecting the 12 volt battery. What you want to do is close all the doors and leave it for five minutes and then disconnect the battery. And the third thing I've done, which is inside, is remove the master service disconnect. So there's this panel, which is usually here. You pop that off. There's a screw under there. And then that'll reveal this plate, which is there. Three bolts holding that on. And then you pop this out. First, you have to pull this tab this way. And then it's the first stage and it comes up to about 45 degrees and then you push it in and that's the second stage and it goes all the way vertical and then you can just lift this out and so now get the car up on the lift so i'll be following the nissan factory service manuals for this procedure i'll put a link in the description to download them for removing and replacement of the Battery. First step though is going to be taking off all of these under trays. A bit muddy on this car and uh, done some off roading, but yeah, uh, this plastic under tray needs to go. Okay, so now the under tray is removed and I've also disconnected the high voltage connector. So what you do is you push that little blue tab in and then this black bit comes out a little bit and then you push that bit in and it comes out more and then you pull the whole thing out and for the PDC connector you pull the green tab out push that in and then it comes out this twists anti-clockwise and air conditioning is disconnected and um, so these middle bolts so you got basically eight bolts holding the pack up to the vehicle um, these ones I've removed and these rear bolts I've also removed and I've cracked off these four bolts. So the pack's now being held up by one, two, three, four bolts there. We're gonna get this stage deck under the car with a pallet on, get that supporting the battery, undo the remaining bolts, then we'll lift the van up off the battery. That's the plan. Okay. Take two. I forgot the grinding strap. Here we go. Got the new pack in place. There goes the old pack. Way on the forklift, but yeah, uh, nice and shiny. And we're going to slowly lower the car down and line it up and then just bolt the eight bolts holding it into the car again. Pretty much reverse of getting it out. And then I can start on doing some of the wiring that's needed for the can bridge, which I'm planning to route from there and it'll go up there and through that hole, which is for the master service disconnect. And then I can store the cameras just under that center console bit. I reckon that'd be quite neat. So new 40 kilowatt hour battery is all bolted in, connected up, and the wheels spin. So just had to pair the battery with the leaf spy. And that's all good, no errors on the dashboard. We took the old battery over to the other side and in the process got the forklift stuck on the kind of slight uphill bit and had to push it a bit with the tractor. But anyway, it's all good now. So the only thing left to do is go over installation of the can bridge to fix some of the dashboard and quick charging issues. Here are some can gateway slash can bridges. This is my own design based on a Teensy 4.0. And originally I didn't think I was able to get this Muxant one, 
So I ported all the code from this to this and <coughs> there's a GitHub repository, which is public. However, I haven't tested the code and I plan on actually trying this one first because it's a bit more well proven. However, I had to have a fallback to my own design. Luckily, Greg from Greg's Garage was able to give me this one that he had lying around. If you need any EV repairs up in Scotland, Scottish borders, or any general car repairs, Greg's Garage is a good place to go. But anyway, so I have uploaded the Nissan ENV200 code onto this. And the next step is to get it wired into the car. I've just made a harness for this cam bridge and I did some testing to figure out which cam bus goes to the vehicle and which goes to the battery. So it's looking like um, I've got one here going to the VCM and that, according to the back of this, is CAN2 and then CAN1 goes to the battery. This is the wiring installed. This is the CAN bus going to the vehicle and it goes down here to this. And then we've got the CAN bus going to the battery there. And then this is splicing into a grand and splicing into a 12 volt permanent feed. And now I'm just going to tidy all this up, harness tape it up. That's all the wiring done, pretty much according to this diagram that I made, which will, again will be on GitHub. So it's all tidied up now, that's back in its conduit, and then that's the branch off, which goes up through there. So now I'm going to set the vehicle down, connect the can bridge, and power it on and check it's okay. Okay, let's check it works. Cool. So now the range is showing correct and it's not alternating. No errors on the dashboard. And that's the can bridge just sitting down there. So now I'm gonna put the cover back down on there and get all the trim back in place and the under tray and put everything back together. So that's the upgrade pretty much complete. The new 40 kilowatt battery was 5,000 pounds and I'm planning to sell the old battery to get the money back. The van went from a 40 to, no, it's 50 to 60 mile range to about 140 miles of range. And I did the whole job in two evenings after work. It was about four hours of work but I did have all the right tools. And it was pretty easy though. Easiest battery swap I've done. Anyway, that's it. The van's working and upgrade complete. Thanks for watching. Bye. Batteries in, bolted together. No, not bolted together. It's bolted in, you fucking idiot.